It would be this. But then here. an arm rests on the thing too. Okay. Which is fine. I just want to see. I'm just going to put that yeah, on. Yeah. And you'll know which one. Friday and I have the day off so I'm just getting ready to go out for our lunch crazy how much of a difference eyebrows make I wanted to do a little bit of a catch-up but kind of in a rush so maybe we will do that when I get back I feel like I've been going out a lot recently going out to see friends a lot which is good see I say I'm an introvert but but I actually feel very energized and healed after seeing my friends but yeah i feel like i've been going out a lot honestly just trying to get my life together i just uploaded my life of a nine to five employee vlog i feel like it was really anticlimactic very mundane but to be honest that's kind of what i like seeing in other people's vlogs i just don't know if people like watching that in my vlogs but what you saw in that vlog is probably 90 percent of what my life actually consists of which is going to work and staying home <laughs> um i also feel like i've been on instagram a lot less lately i don't know if that's why i feel a little bit less mm, not less anxious per se but just less technologically stimulated i've actually been kind of toying with the idea of getting rid of my instagram account altogether <laughs> that's probably not gonna happen but i've just been a lot less active and i've been scrolling on instagram a lot less so yeah, that was just a bit of a TMI. I guess that goes along with me trying to get my life together, um, spending less time on social media. I think I still consume just as much YouTube, but I don't know, I like YouTube a lot more than Instagram lately. I just feel like it's really hard to be very raw and personal on Instagram. YouTube is where people's personalities come out almost out of this merit oh yeah i've been furniture shopping a lot recently so i kind of wanted to do an update on that because you may or may not know but i'm getting married in september which means i'm going to be moving out very very soon in a couple months Holy crap, man. so that means i've been doing a lot of furniture shopping which i love very expensive but it's fun so I kind of wanted to do an update on that. Anyway, I think I'm done for my makeup. Good. It's very lemony. spicy. Mm -hmm. It's like lemony. Mm. 
scrumptious. I'll let you know right away, though. I've been meaning to do a little furniture update since the last clip that you would have seen or no a couple clips ago you would have seen us going furniture shopping specifically couch shopping in about two months i will be moving out so let me show you what i got so far i love furniture the very first purchase that i made was our dining table so i actually got the dining table from an instagram account uh, where they have curated vintage pieces. So we got a vintage travertine dining table from Shop Clover. Um, and then at the same time that I got the dining table, I also got the uh, side tables or the bedside tables for our room. So in the description, it says pearlescent fiberglass marble imitation side tables. So at first glance, when you look at them, they look like marble, but they're not. I thought these were really unique. I just haven't seen anything like them before. So I was really happy when I found them. And there are actually so many shops out there. You just kind of have to look. But um, I will share all the ones that I found. So I found the most perfect dining chairs. So I got a set of four from Elgin Modern. And then I got two head table chairs, uh, which I just got from Sunday's Furniture. These dining chairs, they're such a good find. I believe they are over 60 years old. Um, all the dining chairs that I was looking at, they were well over to $300 each. These chairs I got for $800 uh, for the set of four, but that included um, tax and delivery. It's actually very hard to find dining chairs that are comfortable and nice. And then the last clip that you saw is when we went couch shopping. Again, couches are very expensive. So we actually went to this furniture shop called Zilli in Vaughn. That's where my sister got her couch. And she got a really good deal on hers, so we wanted to check it out. I really wanted to save as much money as possible on the couch. I mean, really on everything, but especially the couch because couches can be very, very costly. They do custom couches as well, which is the route that we took because we found the couch, um, it was really comfortable, it had the shape that we wanted, but it just didn't come in the fabric that we wanted. We looked at a bunch of different swatches and fabrics and I wanted to go with the closest off-white color that there was to a white. So the fabric that we went with is very, very simple. It, I don't think it has any uh, designs on the fabric at all. It's really just a plain off-white fabric so i think i caught you up on all of our furniture purchases so far now and i think the final piece that i'm looking for is the coffee table other than that i think all the little things there's no rush we can just get them as we go good morning i am parked bright and early outside of square one i plan on only making two stops at cause and at uniqlo so my goal is to get a tank top from cause and then possibly a white a plain white t-shirt because i realized that i don't have any plain white t-shirts this summer i'm planning to go back to basics because i really don't plan on buying any or many clothes this summer and i really don't have a lot of summer clothes so i just want to get some very very basic things that will help me get through the summer without having to buy a lot of clothes oh my what the heck happened to that mirror <laughs> So I bought some stuff. I would say it was a pretty successful shopping trip. Very short. I kind of wanted to save these for if I decide to do a summer wardrobe video, but I'll just show you anyways. I don't think I'm going to try them on. So 
Uniqlo. So I just went in for a bra. This was kind of spontaneous, kind of impulsive, but it's also necessary. I will say that I've been looking for a dress exactly like this and and I thought I would get a ton of wear out of it this summer. I actually don't have any summer dresses, um, just ones that I can throw on for really hot days. So it's really long. As you saw, I was debating between the white and the black. I tend to gravitate towards lighter colors. So yeah, I will say this is kind of impulsive, but I've been wanting a dress like this, so. And then, I think I was inside cost for a total of five minutes. I went in there knowing exactly what I was gonna get, which is this tank top. Now that I'm looking at it, I feel like it might be a little bit more fitted than I would have liked. But when I was at Uniqlo, I saw that they had a lot of ribbed tank tops in a bunch of different colors. I didn't try it on, but when I held it up, I just felt like the neck part was gonna be too low. But yeah, I found it very alarming that I didn't have a go-to white tank top, especially for the summer. So glad I picked this up. I just hope it fits okay. That was it. I made it out to be this huge haul, but um, I only got two things. I am leaning towards filming a separate summer wardrobe video, but um, I really don't have a lot of summer clothes. So I feel like it's gonna be a bit of a short and boring video, but I think it'll also be good for me to see what I have in my closet and it's going to force me to organize my closet.